Thank you for joining me for this fire talk. I only have 10 minutes, so I'll talk fast. I'm a native New Yorker, so that won't be a problem. Uh, and I do hope that you enjoy this talk. Thank you for being here. Uh, I don't mind if you photograph or tweet. I figure that uh, I'm in the public domain, but uh, I appreciate that everyone is so respectful here. Uh, so who am I? I am known by many as Lady Boss as a result of uh, being affectionately named that by my co-founder, I'm building an end-to-end -end encrypted app that is designed to appeal to millennials, and I would be happy to hear from you. What does privacy mean when the biggest threats you face are parents and teachers? <laughs> we think that kids are so silly for being on Snapchat, but actually, uh, they're quite savvy. These are the apps that kids are using these days, Snapchat, Whisper, Yik Yak, Kick, and others. They're not really security apps, right? Like, I'll use Silent Circle or Wicker or other apps if I want to feel more safe. But their safety needs are different than ours. Older people are on Facebook to keep up with their younger family. Here's an example of a grandma on Facebook. Hello, Benjamin, John, Connie, Sandy, and the rest. I have no comments at this time. If you were a kid, this is not what you want. Here is Grandma Donna posting on Brianna's Facebook page, do me a favor, sweetheart. Find out how much it would be to fix your one sec back tooth. You are so beautiful, my little princess. <laughs> Brianna must be dying. Here's another one. Hey, does this guy go to your school? No, Grandma, that's Justin Bieber. So that's one reason why teens are off Facebook. Uh, they want to be private from their grandma. So the fact that Snapchat and Whisper and Kick are not encrypted doesn't matter. Their grandma is not going to post embarrassing comments. And that's like the real threat model that they're worried about. There are other reasons why they're leaving Facebook. Facebook is just like too much drama. So a Pew study came out recently uh, and showed that teens prefer Twitter over Facebook. We're seeing they actually prefer a number of other apps more than Twitter, but it's for sure that Facebook is losing its appeal for the younger set. They're really on Snapchat quite a bit. Uh, if you do quick Google searches, you see a lot of commotion uh, from, te from teachers who are really worried about it. In 16 years of teaching, I can't think of anything that has ever disrupted my classroom more than today's Snapchat update. The teacher also noted uh, that she had no idea what the update consisted of, showing uh, that the kids in her class were absolutely correct to be on Snapchat as a way to get away from her. It's only the appearance of ephemerality. Snapchat runs on Google App Engine. The lack of true security is well known, but as we've seen, Kids are optimizing for connecting with their friends and avoiding parents, teachers, and drama, which they can do really well on the apps that they've chosen. They're also using anonymity to explore identities, taboos, and yes, trolling. Uh, I'm not going to repeat the text on there because it's a bit graphic, but you can see it. Uh, <laughs> so they're, they're not worried about anonymity the way we are, right? Like, if we think of anonymity, we think of you know, your life being at stake, or what we think of like the need to use Tor. Uh, but, but for their use cases, it's just fine, and there may be a bit of a thrill in knowing that they aren't completely safe. You have to remember, this is an age group that uh, has a lot of mixed feelings, um, although perhaps that's not unique to teenagers. As we said, it's just the appearance of anonymity. Even Secret, which is surprisingly popular with adults, runs on Google App Engine. So all your secrets are held by Google. I know, right? I can't believe that. The good news, millennials are smart. They're optimizing for their current and their urgent threats. And someday they'll grow up and optimize for their new threat models, hopefully better than the adults of 2014. And here's my contact info. I put it up at the beginning, but now you know me a little bit more. <laughs>